What's up, family? The plot thickens. Word on the street is one of the five black uncivilized mutt Memphis police officers who beat motorist Tyree Nichols to death during a traffic stop is also a super simp. Yeah, fam. The simps continue to take L's in 2023. It's going to be a lot more, fam, because it's real early. Now, reportedly, Tyree was dating Officer Demetrius Haley's ex. And Demetrius wanted her back badly. So badly that he hatched a plan to eliminate the competition. Yeah, that's what they're saying. They're saying that this was a hit from the jump. Demetrius Haley knew exactly what he was doing. It's also alleged that Officer Demetrius Haley took photos of Tyree after he and the other four thugs in blue stomped him out. And get this fam, sent the photos to the girl. If true, the message is, this is how far I'll go to get you back. Or perhaps the message is, keep playing and don't take me back and the same thing could happen to you. Dude was jealous. He wanted her back. Could not get her back because allegedly she was now into this free-spirited skateboarder. And him with all of his Memphis police officer badge, gun, and uniform could not be her knight in shining armor. So, he allegedly hashed a plan to eliminate the competition for good. What do y'all think about that, fam? I think it is absolutely plausible that that could happen, and I'm sure that ain't the first time something like that happened. People use their power to get back at their adversaries all the time. And I can guarantee you it happens in law enforcement more than anywhere. Because when you are a police officer, you have access to addresses, private information that other people don't have. If you don't have direct access, you call your buddy and they give it to you. You call your buddy in the department, they give it to you. You call your buddy at the courthouse and they give it to you. So it's people in law enforcement and the court system, they use their power, their connections, their resources to get back at their enemies all the time. And this, I do believe, ain't no different. I definitely believe it because this dude got a record already of stretching his authority. Another guy accused him of Hell, damn near beating him to death while he was locked up. This is another black guy he did this to. So he already got a record. He got a history of beating up black folks. Stretching his authority. Beating up black people who he have some type of power over. This happened, the, the other beating allegedly happened while the guy was in prison and Demetrius Haley was a corrections officer. So he beats this guy damn near to death and get a promotion to become a police officer. That's that, where to go, Memphis. That's how y'all do it, huh? That's how y'all be getting down out there, huh? Like, yeah, show us that you can be merciless against black people and you're in, you're straight in. Show us you can be uncivilized and you too can be a Memphis police officer. Show us that you can be inhumane and you too can be a Memphis police officer. Man, I believe it. I 100% believe it. This has all the makings of a hit. And if that is the case, charges need to be upgraded from second degree murder to first degree murder and they should qualify for the death penalty. 
fact, let me see if Memphis has the death penalty. This would be interesting. This would be very interesting. Uh, Tennessee, death penalty. Let's see, y'all. Let's hope for it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, legislated and enacted March 2000, specifies lethal injection as the primary method of execution. Offenders who committed the offense and were sentenced to death prior to January 1st, 1999 may request electrocution. So yeah, man, Tennessee has capital punishment. Yeah, man, Tennessee got capital punishment. Yeah. His ass should absolutely qualify. And the rest of them, because you better believe they knew. Yeah, they all in the same game, fam. And they come and say they so cocky because the only reason why they're cocky is they get away with so much. If they wasn't getting away with that much, if they were being held accountable, Tyree Nichols, I do believe, would be alive today. If something were to happen to him, it wouldn't have been because he got murdered by the police. I absolutely believe Demetrius Haley is a danger to society. He's not just a menace. He is a danger to civilized society. And he must be brought to heel. In fact, he must be put down try him, convict him, and put him on death row for the safety of all Americans. Say it with me, fam. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk.